Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, at the studios of SSC Live TV, St. Stephen Baptist Church TV, with another powerful point to ponder. I want to thank you for joining me this week. And this should be an exciting week as we explore something that is fundamental to the Christian life and fundamental to all lives. And that is freedom. Freedom. Don't let anyone or anything rob you of your freedom because that's what it means to be a Christian, to be truly free. And in fact, John chapter 8 and verse 36 says this, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And one of the contributions that Jesus makes to any life is that Jesus truly sets us free in the true sense of the word. Now, usually when we think about freedom, many people think about freedom as a life without restraints. I, I don't want anyone telling me what to do. You've got a lot of people during this COVID-19 season who've said, I don't want to wear a mask because I don't want the government telling me what I ought to do. That's not what freedom is. Biblically speaking, freedom is not simply doing what you want, but freedom is the power to do what you ought. That's what freedom is. And that word freedom is really two words in one. The first word is, of course, free, which means liberty. It means strength. A free person is a strong person. And then the second part of the word freedom is the, is the abbreviated form of the word dominion, which means to control. In fact, in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26, it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion. So when you take those two words together, dominion and freedom, or freedom, freedom simply is this. It is the liberty to dominate and be in control of your own life. That's what freedom is. Um, democracy is ruled by people instead of authoritarianism in which someone from the top is dictating to you what you should be doing with your life. Freedom is very important, and as I said, it, it is what it means to be a Christian. John chapter 8 and verse 32 says this, Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And the truth will set you free. Knowing the truth will set you free. It doesn't say the truth will set you free. It says knowing the truth will set you free. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17. Now the, now the Lord is, is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom. So you can see all these words about freedom establishes that Christ wants us free. Christ does not want you to be dominated by people. Christ does not want you to be dominated by your past. Christ does not want you to be dominated by addictions and habits. God wants you, instead of you being dominated, God wants you to dominate the things in your life, to have under you the things that need to be under you. And guess what? When you get under Christ, uh, then the things that are supposed to be under you gets under under you. Now this week we're going to talk about freedom and what it looks like and the power of being a truly free person, free from habits, free from worries, free from anxiety, free from what people think about you to truly live your life in freedom. And we're going to break down this week the word free. And this is what we're going to find out that we're going to break it down. Here it is. The elf in freedom stands for this. Face your bondage. We want to talk about that. To be free, you have to be honest about the things that have you in bondage. Instead of you controlling it, it's controlling you. R in free is relinquish control to God. Things get under you when you get under the God who's supposed to be over you. So it's a, 
It's when, you, when I get under God, then things tend to get under me. So relinquish control to God or surrender to God. E is examine the roots of your bondage. Many times when people have unmanageable lives, there are some deep rooted issues that are going on in your life that perhaps you don't realize. It's sometimes what's called subterranean, below the surface, and you gotta dig deep to get to the root of it if you're going to truly be free. So face your bondage, relinquish control to God, examine the roots of your bondage, and then the final E is embrace spiritual maturity. Now listen, freedom is the privilege and it's the power to become everything God wants you to become. Freedom is the opportunity to fulfill your purpose and potential to the glory of God. And God wants us to truly be free. Now let me ask you a question. What has been dominating you? Dominating you? Are there some habits that all your life you said, you know what, this has dominated me. Is it something in your past? Is it uh, the need to be a people pleaser? Or is it th the need for validation and affirmation because of insecurity issues? Whatever it is, God does not want anything dominating you. God wants you to have free, which is liberty, and dominion, the liberty to dominate and have under your feet, under your control, the things that are supposed to be under your control in life. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. I hope you'll be excited and join me this entire week as we unpack what it means to truly be free. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word today. And I pray, O oh Lord, that this week may be a blessing to the people of God as we finally seek to address issues of bondage that has held us for some of us all our lives. But we trust that you can set us free. We want to walk in liberty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me on another powerful point to pot. I'm so glad to be back in the studio here at St. Stephen's Live uh, TV. Listen, everybody needs a church home. Everybody needs Christian fellowship, uh, Christian empowerment. And uh, there's something that the church can be of, of aid and benefit to you. And there's something that you can do to be of aid and benefit to somebody else. So I want to encourage you, if you don't have a church home, to connect with us here at St. Stephen Church, new start at ssclive.org. We will get back with you. I hope that you have a blessed day today. And until we gather tomorrow to talk about freedom, you have a great day. And remember, during COVID-19, stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. I'll see you tomorrow.